Hi everybody and welcome to another video of the channel. In front of me I've got a package from uh, shop4pt.com which is a shop that I've recently found and uh, I've already explained this on my previous video but since it was in Portuguese I don't think that all of you got the message, okay? So basically what I want to say is that this price has very competitive pr uh, prices this shop sorry has very competitive prices on it and um, furthermore you don't even need to own a credit card okay so you can just they generate a reference and you can pay at any automatic teller so that's a plus so you have to be a little bit patient I don't remember exactly when I ordered this but it must have been what more than 15 days, more than two weeks ago, I would say perhaps 18 or 20 days ago, and it arrived uh, last Friday. Okay, so here we go then. Okay, so first consideration, a bit dusty, okay, the figure. Um, what I've got here is Batman from McFarlane Toys, okay? In this case, Arkham Asylum, okay? Yeah, on the back of the, the box, we've got this beautiful picture with this shade of gray. Yeah, lovely. Okay, Batman from the Arkham Asylum. Cross-sell with other characters that McFarlane has already produced. Okay, each figure comes with a collectible trading card. Yeah, okay, that's right. And it, th in this case, it does come with some accessories too. Okay, you guys, so without wasting any more time, let's see what Mr. McFarlane has in store for us. Okay, here we go. That's one side. And here's the other. Okay piece on the back too and let's just open him up yeah now I don't know if you guys have had the chance to watch Zack Snyder's, Zack Snyder's cut of Justice League but fortunately thanks to my good friend Zepalo I have uh, if you didn't, uh, please do, please watch it, because I can guarantee it to you, you are not going to give your time as wasted. It's long, it's over four hours long, but it's, well, I'm going to spare the adjectives here, so it you should watch it, okay? And then we can pay, probably talk later on. So we've got the trading card over here that I'm going to remove from the blister, okay? Yep. Yeah, and I'm not gonna let Mr. McFarland fool me twice. I came prepared. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Showing my age. 45 going on 46. Okay, so quick show of the picture. Okay, Batman from Arkham Asylum. And in terms of the file, so you got Bat Batman Arkham Asylum, video game 2009, real name Bruce Wayne, height 8 feet 2 inches, 1.88 meters, of course over here we've got the metric system here in Portugal, his weight is 210 and 10 pounds, meaning 95 kilograms. So when his parents were gunned down in front of him, young Bruce Wayne resolved to rid Gotham City of the criminal element that took their lives. He trained extensively to achieve mental and physical perfection. In, ad in addition to mastering martial arts, detective techniques and criminal psychology, dressing as a bat to prey on criminals' fears, Batman fights crime with the aid of specialized gadgets and vehicles operating out of his secretive bat cave below Wayne Manor. Yeah, a bit of a story. Okay, in terms of the figure, let's unleash it, shall we? Okay, so... Yep, that's out. 
Okay. Okay. Yes, okay, so I believe this would be a grappling hook hook. Okay. Yes. Night nice metallic finish to the accessory, okay? Um, it's a bit bendy to one of towards one of the sides. I've already had the same issue with the accessory a gun that my previous figure from this line had. Okay, but if you apply a little bit of force over here, hopefully it will get to the right side. Yeah, batarang. Two of them actually. One open and one closed. And I have no idea of what this is since I haven't played a video game. I have no idea of what this little contraption does. Okay, let's see the figure. Okay, right, so in terms of the figure, we've got a softer goods cape, very long one, okay, that, okay, it poses some difficulty for him to stand, okay, you have to fold it like that, okay, I quite like the, the, um, the sculpting of these figures, okay, they might not be great in terms of articulation, uh, his arms move up until this extent, okay? They can't go any further because of the um, cape, okay? Yeah, it's a bit stuck, but it just came out of the box, so no big surprises there. The forearms only rotate up to this point. Unfortunately, hands, so they move from side to side and they pivot to, yeah, okay, good, okay, as far as the head goes, it moves from side to side, up and down, on this version of Batman, the pointy ears are extremely long, but I remember they are accurate to the video game, okay. It's got a torso movement, the utility belt has got some nice weathering to it, some black strokes to it, yeah, okay, a bit of a problem with applying the paint here, okay, yeah, and the legs obviously move too, okay, good gymnastics on the part of Mr. Wayne, good for him. Double jointed knees, yeah, okay, much more articulate than the previous figure I've commented. Okay, I like that part. And I have a bit of an issue with the feet, because they, this little ball here just shows show so much. I would, I would much prefer it if they found a different way, okay. Um, for it not to be as present as it is. But all in all, yeah, the traditional quality that McFarlane, that McFarlane has used us to, yeah, okay, it's nice. It's a good addition to the collection, okay? It looks good. It looks great, actually. Uh, the eyes seem to be okay, yeah. Seem to be good. Seem to be accurate, okay? Yep, that's it, you guys. Hope you've all enjoyed. This is a collection that I'm quite looking forward to continuing collecting. Um, I know that he is going to release a wave of figures um, of um, Justice League. Okay, Zack, Snyder, Zack Snyder's cut from Justice League. And I'm pretty much stoked about this wave of figures because I think that if he plays his cards right, they could just prove to be fantastic, amazing figures to get. Okay, guys, I hope to see you again soon enough. Bye-bye.